Welcome all to a brand new episode of Professor Fit. Today we will discuss the anabolic window, is it really true? Or is it just another myth? If you're trying to build muscle, strength training is the best way to do it. Strength training damages the muscles, which causes them to repair and row. The result is bigger, stronger muscles. However, optimal muscle growth goes beyond your actual workout. It also relies on post-workout nutrition. Your muscles need enough protein and carbohydrates to effectively recover. Many people claim you should eat a post-workout meal during the anabolic window. This term refers to the short time after training when your muscles are repairing and recovering. It's also called the metabolic window or protein window. Allegedly, the anabolic window lasts 30 minutes. If you want maximum results, you should consume protein and carbs within this time frame. Eating a meal after these 30 minutes is supposedly less helpful. Many people use this concept to practice precise nutrient timing. As it turns out, there's little scientific proof to back the strategy. Listen on to learn about the anabolic window theory and why it doesn't exist. Anabolic state theory. The anabolic window theory is based on your body's anabolic response. Anabolism is when small molecules grow into bigger complex molecules. These molecules form into new cells and tissues, including muscle. It's the opposite of catabolism, or when larger molecules break down. After strength training, your body is in an anabolic state. This involves a range of cellular processes that facilitate muscle repair and growth. These processes are fueled by protein and carbs. According to the anabolic state theory, this anabolic response is a limited time frame of only 30 minutes. It also claims that immediately eating protein and carbs is critical for increasing protein synthesis, reducing muscle protein breakdown, replenishing muscle glycogen. There's some merit to these claims. According to a 2018 study trusted source, muscle protein breakdown MPB, increases in response to strength training. Muscle protein synthesis MPS, also increases, but to a greater extent. The balance between MPB and MPS determines muscle growth. This balance is called net muscle protein balance NBAL. Post-workout nutrition can affect these processes. Protein intake limits MPB and supports MPS. Carb intake also inhibits MPB and aids glycogen resynthesis. Glycogen provides energy for your muscles. After exercising, it might seem logical to immediately eat protein and carbs to suppress MPB. It's also assumed that this will increase muscle mass by increasing NBAL. That's where the theory oversimplifies the science. Changes in muscle size depend on myofibrillar proteins. To increase muscle mass, the suppression of MPB would need to solely target these proteins. However, MPB affects many types of proteins. This includes muscle proteins that rapidly turn over or have been damaged. Degrading these proteins may be essential to remodel muscle. This suggests that trying to limit MPB through post-workout nutrition might actually hinder proper recovery. Plus, aside from nutrition, there are many factors that affect recovery and growth, including age, hormones, and training routine. There also isn't hard evidence that says the anabolic window is only 30 minutes long. It's not clear where the suggested time frame came from. What the science says. The concept of a narrow anabolic window is a widespread belief. Research shows that it's not as short or as simple as it seems. A small 2017 study trusted source found that pre and post workout protein intake both produce similar muscle adaptions. This suggests that pre workout protein could suffice, and immediate post workout intake isn't much better. It also proposes that the window of opportunity for protein is quite wide. An older 2007 study trusted source had comparable results. Participants consumed whey just before exercise or one hour after. Both groups experienced similar changes in muscle protein synthesis. Additionally, a 2013 meta-analysis trusted source of 43 studies didn't find a strong link between immediate protein intake and muscle growth or strength. The role of immediate protein intake on muscle protein breakdown may also be exaggerated. While it's true that muscle breakdown increases after training, a 2009 article says this effect is brief. A 2010 study trusted source examined the post-workout anabolic response that happens after protein intake. Researchers found that the response is mainly due to protein synthesis, rather than protein breakdown. This proposes that immediately eating to reduce muscle breakdown may not be necessary. The exception is if you worked out while fasting. 
According to an older 2003 study, fasted exercise significantly increases post-training muscle breakdown. So, if you don't eat before training, it's important to eat right after. Finally, a 1997 study trusted source found that delaying post-workout carb intake by two hours didn't affect muscle glycogen resynthesis. The levels of glycogen remain the same 8 and 24 hours later, suggesting later carb intake may still be beneficial. Takeaway. According to research, the 30-minute anabolic window doesn't exist, meaning that a later post-workout meal won't significantly hinder muscle growth. This suggests that eating protein and carbs immediately after exercise isn't critical for maximum gains. Eat your post-workout meal when it works for you. This could be before training, right after, or later on. The exception is if you train in a fasted state, which means you should have a post-workout meal soon after. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Be sure to let me know what to explain next in the comments. Have a great day and see you on the next topic. Make sure you like and subscribe for more informative content.